We are at the No Wasteland Composting and Wildlife Garden in Bushwick, and we're working on our project called Who Street. The richness of this project is really in the process, and the final piece is important, but the fact that we became members of the garden and uh, we've been working with this really great group of people here at No Wastelands has been great. It's also making us go out there and talk to our neighbors and look at the neighborhood and the businesses and everything in a very strategic way. We're gonna gather our histories and histories in the neighborhood, and then we're gonna create an installation in the fences of this beautiful garden. I think that's really important where we actually see ourselves and people see themselves portrayed in the public art instead of something that's completely foreign to us. There's a Mexica elder that is coming to bless this space, to think about where and why are we making an effort to connect to nature and to have that intention and to pray a little bit for that intention in the city. We want to be able to use the knowledge that's already in the neighborhood. And today we're going to do a little story booth and ask a couple questions about where people see themselves in their neighborhood. And then hopefully also use that later for the ideas that are going to come together for the final installation. There's like three kinds of communities operating here, right? There's an effort to bring in marginalized youth of color who never get to participate in things like this. There's people who are gravitating to the space who are local residents, who are excited to utilize and develop our public land. And then there's people who can help tell that story and bring it to life in a way that's communicable and accessible, both across many languages and many different backgrounds and experiences. That is what the role of Raul and Fernanda have been to like bring these drawings and visuals to life. So hopefully Who Streets will not be only this mural or this installation. I see ourselves making this an ongoing conversation with our neighbors. 